Welcome to another binder review and in today's video we are reviewing the Vault X Exotech nine pocket binder vault x exotech is a nine pocket per page premium quality zip up trading card binder with non-slip water resistant exotech material 20 pages holding 360 cards made from archival safe acid free non pvc material if you've watched my other videos you know that i use the top deck binders and today we're going to go over the vault x in comparison to the top deck and then you guys can decide which one you think is better let me know in the comments section and if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to like and subscribe so let's go over the vault x binder first it is about the same size as the top deck binder on the vault x website it says the height is 350 millimeters the width is 260 millimeters and the depth is 30 to 45 millimeters the capacity it holds 360 cards the features of this binder are they have 20 archival safe nine pocket pages fits standard size gaming cards premium quality padded covers water resistant material heavy duty security zipper side loaded pockets and acid free no pvc pages so let's open up the vault x binder and see how it looks inside um i'm thinking it's very similar to the top deck um and i'm kind of right in my assumptions again we have nine pockets per page and one of the reasons i was asked to do this video was people were talking about the spine here and how it might pull the cards and bend them in a different direction so i will show you how my top deck looks i have a few master sets in my top deck binders uh, that haven't pulled out of place and been bent or warped but this looks very nice as well this is actually the first time i'm um, using a vault x binder i will put some cards in here and see how it goes um, but i have heard some things about uh, cards potentially being pulled out of place but it's a very nice binder there's no rings there's no d rings um, so it's not really going to get that big pull that pulls the cards out of place and bends them it does hold 360 cards as opposed to the top deck binder which will hold 500 but i'll show you the comparison in just a moment but this is a very nice looking binder i love the material i love the side loaded pages your cards can stay protected as long as you uh use a sleeve over the card and then put it in it should fit now this will not fit with top loaded uh covered cards but top deck uh does have a binder for that and the last video i did that was a review um was of that binder so you guys can go and check that out if you want to put cards into top loaders and then into a binder as well for maximum protection but this is a very nice looking binder very similar zips up to keep the dust out keep it protected the plastic is acid free non pvc so um, you don't have to really worry about your cards getting eroded degraded uh, whatever the case may be um, but it is a very nice looking binder very very similar so let's compare the two now so both of these binders have the nine pockets per page although the exotech vault x binder only holds up to 360 cards whereas opposed to the top deck can hold up to 500 cards now you can choose to get the 12 pocket vault x binder which holds up to 480 cards so it's slightly bigger and holds more cards both binders are very professional looking they have pro level archival safe acid free and non-pvc material all pages are padded and reinforced for the preservation of your cards both have great zippers no loose pages and no rings that will pull your cards obviously out of place and distort or bend them here's my top deck binder with my brilliant stars master set inside it's been in there for a while and you can see that none of the cards are warped or pulled out of position out of place by the spine they lay inside pretty flat 
and safe. For a set as valuable and as beautiful as Brilliant Stars, I really wanted to have a binder that I knew would protect it, and Top Deck has proven to be that binder. Now, I've never used Vault X, but I will be using Vault X in the future to see how it goes and to see if it can protect my cards exactly the same way. Both companies offer multiple colors for each binder, so if you want to spruce up your collection, you can absolutely do that, or you can stick with a black. Because of the quality and the amount of pages in each binder, the price point is a little bit different. The Vault X coming in at about $23, and the Top Deck 500 card binder coming in at about $45. So the Top Deck binder is more expensive, but it does offer more space for your collection per binder. So both these binders are amazing and it just comes down to a matter of price point and preference. They both come in amazing colors. They're both very professional looking and well put together. Let me know in the comments section if you use Vault X and what you think of it. I'm going to be using it for the first time in my collection and I'll let you know what I think. If you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out Wolfpack.